day three PGA show. I have my friend Patrick here. I've known Patrick for... 45 years? Yeah, like four years. We've been friends for a while now. Kind of, you're actually like my first friend in the golf industry. You were really nice to me. Um, and you know. well, We played Pebble Beach together and our, and our first model off was on the 18th fairway at Pebble Beach. And I lost miserably. I think the final boat was something like 4,000 to three. And you won. But I did, and we've been doing them over the years. So the past one, I, I took victory on my RGB tour by a slim margin. So I have yeah. one victory. All the others are crushing defeats. Yeah, so everywhere that we go and we're, that we're in the same place, we do a model off. So whoever has the best model pose wins. We just did one just yesterday. I, I came from behind. I got the victory. Oh, I was leading. I was so excited. <laughs> and then I, came, I, I went behind, and I was like 2%. So I started running around Orange County National Convention Center. <laughs> doing like ground recruiting, strangers <laughs> getting to vote for me, it didn't work. It didn't work. I lost, I lost. So, one thing about the PGA show is that pretty much everyone in golf is here, which means that you're probably seeing the exact same thing all the time. All the pool booths, all the things that you would normally see pretty much anywhere. So we're gonna try to find the most unique items at the PGA show. We don't know what they're gonna be yet. Maybe they, some cool training aids. They might not be useful at all. Maybe some accessories. Could be, could be. Who knows, but we're gonna go search for the most unique things here at the PGA show and maybe have a model offer too. Yeah. <laughs> We were going to introduce this, but I don't actually know what this is or what it's called. So we have Dan here to explain this little contraption that we have. Yeah, this is our rolling ball picker. It's designed to pick up golf balls on a putting green, kind of get rid of some of those PVC rakes or some shag bags, and it's yeah. kind of a fun. It's kind of a fun way to do it too. People like to use it, so I'll kind of show you how it works. Yeah, I want to see. Right. So you simply roll, picks them up. It's kind of like a bingo game, right? So when you're done picking up, simply open the open the cage here, and it can be distributed anywhere you want. So what we're what we're gonna do here is we've set up an obstacle course. We've got ten balls, and it's Meaver's page. Who can pick up the balls the fastest? We're gonna time it. See what happens. All right, ready, set, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's going too fast. Oh, that's pretty good. 11. She was around 11. 11 seconds. 11 seconds. 11 seconds. I didn't quite, didn't quite stop it. Okay. We'll call it 11 seconds. 11 seconds. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three, go. <laughs> I got a pro tip though from the, from the guy. You, What's I, the pro tip? You got to push down on it, otherwise you, if you're going that fast, if you're going pretty fast. So um, I lost challenge one, but this thing is actually really cool and it's more aesthetically pleasing than like they literally just have like PVC pipe. Yeah. Like in a shape of a picker, and you just kind of roll them off the green. This so, is fun to use. It's fun to use. It's really cool, and this is our. Challenge one. Ooh, one nothing me. <laughs> so we're here with Daniel. We're going to talk about big trophies today. Yes, Dan Kolke, Account Executive Tournament Solutions. Try to be a one stop shop for all your gift needs, trophies, tea gifts, anything you need. Uh, beautiful crystals, the new wine decanter we got this year. Fancy. Beautiful uh, engraving area here. Beautiful cut crystal on the top been a big seller for us this week. So show us some of your best and favorite. Oh, that one's sparkly. Yeah, this is uh, the most beautiful piece we offer. This uh, We run three different sizes on this. You can, uh, price point's gonna run from 410 for the largest size shown here. Uh, this, this is uh, 16 inch and then the 12 inch will run to 250 per piece. We try to make uh, every price point for every tournament. Paige and I are gonna do a little pose off here. What are some of your the trophies that you would suggest for, for a pose off? A serious pose off. I mean, we're gonna really. Are there are there ones that are better for posing than others? Give us some of your suggestions here. I think this is. Oh, that's a, a handle that's action. A good one. 
Yeah, there's I a like lot of potential one. with that. A lot of potential. Uh, I think we should we should take that one as our close off. Well, how about you pick one? I pick one. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's fair enough. Yeah. And you then you one. can judge who has the best cuts. All right. You're, you decide the winner. I'm judge. Okay. <laughs> So we're two events, two products, two events in. Yeah. It's it's one one. I didn't know we were, were keeping score, but I think we always do. It's always a competition yeah. with us. Every, you only text me here like, hey, hey, I beat you today. Hey, I did something. <laughs> uh, so what? How are your thoughts about victory in the, in the law? Do you think you're gonna pull it out today? I think I have it. I mean, it's my channel, so I'm gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> and the fans are clearly on your side. There was, clearly. There was no way I was winning that model law. Pretty sure the model. I had to go big and I, it didn't work out. Have you ever done shoe modeling before? Oh, maybe we should try that. I think that's the hardest type of modeling and whoever wins the shoe modeling is the best model. Well, you could say that. There's also hand modeling as well, which I consider an elite form of modeling. But shoe modeling is right up there. Oh, really? Well, look at this. There's a shoe company right behind us. Now I'll get my hands ready. Uh oh. <laughs> So while Patrick is doing a little bit of business right now, I'm going to talk about Albatross, which is the shoe company that we're at right now and that we're going to do our model off with. Uh, they have really cool, funky designs, but they're not too over the top. They have some really clean styles, but we'll show you around some of the shoes and then obviously we're going to have to have our model off. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we'll make it happen. We'll figure it out. I think Paige just showed you around Royal Albatross here, and we got to decide which shoes we're gonna pick. I saw some right as I walked in that I wanna I wanna put dibs on for my show shoes, my runway walk. Paige, you have any idea what you're looking for? Yeah, I saw some over there. Look kind of nice. Ooh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> We're here for the official results and the staff votes have been tallied. What's the result? Guys, I think it's Patrick. Sorry, Paige. Oh. Oh. I did. I, I, so good. I gave them a lot of money backstage as you can see <laughs> for, that, for that verdict. But I'll take it. I'll take the victory. And thanks to Royal Amtrust for, for yeah. outfitting us in these, these super fine super kits. Awesome. guys. Shoes. Golf, and we are getting ready for our hand model off. Serious business here. And the only problem with we, we're talking golf clubs is I'm going to have to cover up these babies because they are seriously gorgeous hands. You know what they say always double glove. Oh, well, in true Tommy two gloves. We're, we're both going double glove in here. And let's see who can uh, who win this off. I think uh, it's going to be close. This one's going to be close. Uh, I'm feeling pretty pretty confident after that. I was a little nervous going in, but I think I pulled it off and I, and I intimidated Paige. She's over there, I see her now, she's a little, a little freaked out. Let's see how she reacts. Down the line, the staff here at Palm Golf is going to vote 
with their glove hands. Each individual is gonna give us a score of one to five. Patrick, I'm gonna have to say you come in with a strong four. All right, all right. Patrick gets a four. Especially you. You killed it, Patrick. You get a five. Oh. <laughs> what can I what can I say? I crushed it. So I have 13 points. How are you feeling? I'm actually feeling pretty good. I think my ending just like I feel like you, the win. I feel like you lost a little control there, but I feel like people are gonna I think I hit myself in the face. Yeah. I, was, I was just going and they just can't yeah. be stopped. Alright, let's we'll go, see. let's go to the judges. Judge number one. What are you giving Paige? Paige had a strong finish at the end, so I'm gonna have to give her a five. Oh! oh! Early, early, early. I mean, I've really never seen dance moves as good as Paige, so she gets a six. Oh! <laughs> Two. Ten. Oh! I got murdered! I got murdered! I don't know what that is, but I know that I can I destroy know. you! Oh, no. Destroy I was, you! I was feeling way confident. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I'm the winner. <laughs> Alright Paige, I know we've been kind of silly for these first three or four events and I think it's time we get down to business. I think it's time to get serious. We gotta break this tie. I think it's time for gold tea. What, what better way to end our little match here than a, than a sudden death. One R3, shot. One shot. Close to the pin. Close to the pin. Wins everything. Winner take all. Best winner of the winners. Winner of all the winners. Winner of winners. Greatest winner of all time winners. We'll be determined now. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a mode that is uh, close to the pin, only par threes. You take your shot, close to the hole wins. You do it for nine holes, winner up there that wins. So no putter, nothing else attached, just closest to the pin. Set it up here. There you go. Well, I do have you an adventure because you've never played Golden Tee before. I've never played Golden Tee before. Which I'm not cool enough. No one invites me to play with them. Which just seems like a crime. So this is actually a big moment. First, first time Paige and Golden Tee. The move is to go back, pull the ball back like that, and then go forward. Okay. You, you can be you can be a female. Hey, it looks like me. It does. Oh, That's Chris. Paige. Avatar Paige over there. Her skirt's a bit longer than mine, though. Yeah, that's She's actually wearing a polo. Like a 1992 skirt. Okay. Okay, well, I'm good. I'm going to win it. You're, you're ready to ramp yeah. up. Okay, we're going to do your next goal. All right, this is a big moment. We've got a short par three here for Paige. It's one of her first times playing Golden Tee, and we're not giving her much advice. We've told her a few things. Let's see how she handles the difficult situation. Okay, okay so it's 134 yeah. to the pin. That's going to go 140 if you hit it full. A little bit of wind, four miles per hour, left to right. Okay. feet, that's going to be tough to beat. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, not a chance. I needed more spin. More spin. Oh. <laughs> Dang it! Wait, you got to get that. 15 to 44. 44 feet. You know Paige. what that means. Congratulations. I'm the winnerest, winnest of the winniest. Of all time. Of all time. And there you have it. So we're going to head back and uh, Chill out. I'm a little stressed out right now. Well, let's go chill out for a bit. <laughs> Thank you so much, Patrick, for coming around and having just a really great time with the PGA show. I mean, PGA show can be a little boring. It can be a little boring. I think we proved otherwise. We but it can be a lot of fun, and there's a lot of interesting product out there that you wouldn't even think of. Yeah, a lot of stuff from the, the gloves to the golden tea at Classic, which was a good finish. Congratulations on, on serving me uh, a much needed beating. I, I needed to be brought back down to earth. It was too high to for some time. And I'm a little stressed out from all of that competition, and I was nervous because we have these competitions all the time, and I win all of them, mostly. You, she wins all of them. I, I win all of them. So, it's a lot of pressure on my shoulders to continue to be a winner, you know? Like, I'm, it's just so tough. Well, there's one way that I like to chill out, and that's the Terracy that's Media true. Right today. We had our tinctures here. Oh, that's the good stuff right there. Well, thanks to all of us for tuning in. It's it tasted been, really good. It, it is pretty good. It's it? good. It's yeah. actually pretty good. Uh, thanks for tuning in. It's 
It's been a good time here at the DGA show. Thanks for having me on, Paige. Of course, and don't forget to leave a comment down below on if you thought I actually did win or maybe it was Patrick that won. I'm hoping for some sympathy in the vote. We'll see, and then also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different than what I did last year. We tried to make it a lot more fun. As you can see, there's so many really amazing products that are out there right now, and don't forget, if you're feeling stressed out, Try your Mentera CBD. <laughs> oh.